Hi there and thanks for joining us. I'm Julie Musgrave. Right now there is a nationwide push to reduce the number of cesarean births and Community Regional is the only Fresno County Hospital to meet and exceed that federal target with zero C-sections for healthy first time moms. Denise Spalding has given birth twice. I wanted the safest route for delivery, obviously. Two beautiful daughters, yet two very different experiences. I was a failed induction. With Denise's oldest, the baby's heart rate started dropping. Her doctor, Dr. Jeffrey Thomas, says a C-section was needed, but he's certainly not one that's quick to make that call. C-sections, unfortunately, have become somewhat the norm in the United States. Dr. Thomas says it shouldn't be that way. Um, we're so anxious to induce for personal reasons or patient reasons or social reasons. He says C-sections can pose serious risks to mothers, including higher rates of hemorrhage, transfusions, infection, or blood clots. And for babies, higher rates of infection, respiratory complications, and NICU stays. There are certainly very good reasons to have to do a C-section for a baby that's in the wrong position or a baby that's in distress. Um, I think our goal is that we're trying to do as much proactively before that moment. The goal applies to first time mothers with low risk pregnancies. Part of that involves educating these moms and encouraging patients. A few years ago, we adopted a policy of not inducing people before the 39th week of gestation. And that in and of itself has helped to cut down the C-section rate. We try not to admit patients until they're documented to be in active labor versus the early signs of labor, because by jumping um, that gun, we can put them at risk for an unnecessary C-section. And statistics show it's working. I think uh, Community Regional Medical Center is down around 23%, which is pretty good. Community Regional is the only Fresno County hospital and one of only two hospitals in the Central Valley to meet or exceed the federal target. That fact alone says a lot, considering it's the high-risk birthing center for the region. I mean, it, it is easier, it's planned, it's scheduled, um, but it's not an easier recovery. Denise went on to have a vaginal birth after cesarean or VBAC with her second child, so she knows what it's like from both sides. It was awesome. It was um, really, really good to have him supporting me and knowing that um, he wasn't in a rush to try to get me to the OR again and be like, okay, it's time, we need to do this. She's now pregnant again. Baby number three, and avoiding a C-section, she says, would certainly make running this family of five a little easier. Hopefully another VBAC. That would be ideal, um, especially because the younger one's still pretty small. Um, it'd be nice to be home with them and uh, be able to take care of all three of them and feel good after delivery. Dr. Thomas also says many insurers are watching C-section rates at hospitals and there's a possibility of penalizing hospitals if the insurer feels that the C-section rate is too high.